Assistant professor booked for Facebook post on Hindu god Ram. The Assam police have booked assistant professor um, Anindya Sen for allegedly hurting religious sentiments with his, quote, derogatory Facebook post against the deity Ram. On August 5th, the day of the foundation ceremony for the temple, uh, Ram Temple in, oh, Adyoha? I'm, I need your help on these names. <laughs> um, then had posted a sarcastic swipe at the deity on Facebook. Um, a complaint was filed against him by a member of the student wing of the BJP party. He was booked under sections of 294, obscene acts or words in public, and 295A, deliberate and malicious acts to cause outrage of religious feelings, and 501, printing or engraving ma matters known to be defamatory of the Indian Penal Code. So Shubham, one, can you correct me on those words, on those names, and two, can you explain post that he made on Facebook because I was reading it. It was like a hypothetical, like sarcastic conversation, but it went completely over my head. I know there was a joke about the Ramayanon, but I didn't understand what was offensive about this post. Okay, I'll explain it simply, okay? Armin, uh, Shabham, okay, yeah, Armin yeah. can you op uh, open the news article because the post is in the article, so I can explain it if you can show it. Uh, okay, hold on, hold on. You should have told me this ahead of time, but here. What uh, the uh, scroll down a little bit? Yeah, there, there's the post. Okay, yep. So, here uh, the post says, uh, just a conversation between two people, she and all this drama for a man who threw out his wife, uh, which suggests that it is Ram. The drama means this temple, the building of the temple. So, they, the BGP and the Hindu nationalists, they actually destroyed a mosque. Uh, a 500, uh, 400 year old mosque in a place because they considered that place to be holy uh, in Hinduism because this this uh, Ram, the god in Hinduism, he was born there and he was a king over there. So they considered it holy. They destroyed it. And on August 5th, this August 5th, they started building a freaking temple there. I mean, people are dying and they are spending money on temples. So all this, uh, so that's what it means by all this drama and people are celebrating this because it was right before 10 days before the Independence Day in India, which was yesterday. So these people are celebrating this, that finally we got independence. Finally, we are getting rid of Muslim culture, Muslim history. And the Hindu nationalists, they are also kind of rewriting history uh, to fit uh, their narrative. And so all this, that's what he means by all this drama. And when he means free out his wife, it's because Ram banished his wife when she was pregnant from the kingdom. So okay. that's I, what I he knew, says. I and, knew Ram did and, that, but I still don't get it, but it's fine. I lost the plot. No, and that's, ins they're considering that as insulting because uh, why would right. you say anything about him? And she said, um, uh, actually she, then she, uh, he said, yeah, I abandoned his wife, right? And she said, in fear of what people would say. And he said, oh, you mean Sri Ramchandra? I was thinking of you know who. By this, he refers to Modi because he also didn't really officially acknowledge his marriage to his wife until the 2014 elections when he won in uh, the elections. So, And he doesn't have like any kind of really proper connections with his wife. So that's kind of implying that yeah, Modi is doing that too. Let me tell the story oh, so better than Shobham. Let me tell you the story better than Shobham did. Because even though I'm not a Hindu, I could tell you. So <laughs> Ram is... Wait, Shobham, correct me if I'm wrong. Ram kicked the, the, one of the holiest gods in Hinduism. He uh, didn't know if his wife had slept with somebody else, right? Even though he himself had sex with a whole bunch of women. But given the rumors, no, wait, that was a different god who had sex with. Anyways, Ram, his wife had sex with a Ram. Sorry, is it Ram or Ram? Ram, Ram. He even though we he joke didn't about know... it thing. Okay, even we though joke about it, it say calling oh, it Ram. Let me finish, God damn it. <laughs> Jesus Christ, you're interrupting me. Even though Ram, uh, his wife uh, allegedly had sex with another uh, dude, and even though Ram wasn't sure if his wife. 
had sex with another dude. He still ab ab abandoned him and throw, throw him out of his house because of the rumors and the embarrassment that the rumors were causing. And this is the holiest, one of the holiest uh, figures in Hinduism, right? That's fair? Well, you are not completely right because if you're talking about the Ravan, uh, Lanka case when she, Sita was abducted, no, she didn't. There was no rumors uh, back then. He made her take the chastity test even when his loyal devotees said that she never did anything like that. She was always true to her the, marriage the and test everything. Came after. The test came after. No, the event. test came before. The test came before. Way before. Okay. okay. After he uh, rescued him, he made her walk on fire to prove her chastity. And later on, let's get to the legal stuff so this guy posted this um and what's going to happen to him because of this jail he will be imprisoned because blasphemy law blasphemy law hurting, this hurt, is a, hurting religious this is a, sentiments this is a university professor and now he's going to go to jail in india for yeah. for one face and do you, yeah and do you know what who reported him it was a student Wow. Yeah, the student uh, from the Hindu nationalist student wing, which is called the ABVP, they exist in many colleges, even like really, really uh, secular right, colleges. How long, they how, long, how long is he going to go? For how long is he going to go to jail? Is, is he going to go to few jail? Months. Gonna, few months. It okay. is very possible he's going to jail. And the right, course, so, so, his days are functioning really weirdly. So let's. Let's so. pre answer pre answer is that a thing? Uh, the people in the comment section. Well, if he was a Muslim and he said that he would be beheaded, blah, 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 blah. like oh, it's not as bad as Islam. He's just gonna get a few months. Like let's say all of that, right? Anyway, so here's here's my answer to all the Hindu defenders that are gonna say that. Like at least we don't behead you, blah blah blah. Um, yeah, whatever. Shut the fuck up. If <laughs> If you if you have to compare yourself, the only way for your ideology to look decent is to compare yourself to Islam. Then you know that your ideology is shit, shit. right? You could compare a shit sandwich to Islam, and the shit sandwich will look very appealing. Okay, anything compared to Islam looks good, right? So. That, that's the only way Hinduism looks decent, right? So every time you say, well, at least we don't behead you, at least this, at least this, at least that, that has to say something about how crappy your ideology is, that that's your only defense, that's the only way your ideology looks good. Okay, here's one thing. Like, yes, he was arrested, and this, is, uh, this hasn't gone to any violent route, but there have been several cases where there's just a mob coming your way, and they lynch you to death. Or something like that. There has been several by Hindus. This has been by Hindus. They, that's very, Shabham, they, very this, they, your your explanations are very complicated and confusing, Shabham. See, you're confusing the live chat as well. You go into a little bit too much detail and you take a long time to get to the point. So you need to simplify your explanations. Work on that, okay? <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. But here's here's a here's a himka him himika saying, I'm not surprised. What uh, with all of all of this Ram Temple madness that's going on here in India, the ideology of the ruling party here is based on Hindu nationalism, and this country's uh, this country is spiraling downwards into communalism and religious interference in governance. See, that was a good comment. Um, yeah, that's basically it. It's kind of like many people are afraid. Because, for example, in the U.S., the president can stay for just two terms, and that's it. In India, the prime minister can stay indefinitely unless the president loses confidence on him. And the president of India is just a puppet of the ruling party. So technically, Modi has a chance to stay indefinitely. And if that happens, there's a very good chance that India can turn into a theocracy of uh, Hinduism. And there are people who actively want India to turn into a theocracy. Okay. News. Thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why, what has, what's holding you back, okay? If you haven't subscribed to our channel, why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like, bell, <laughs> and also, 
if you if you're not getting notifications and stuff because YouTube is not telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like, oh, this person told us that they want to get your shows, right? They want to get your videos, but nah, you we think is no. And oh look, oh they also hit the bell button, but nah, you guys are too controversial. We want to show them mainstream stuff. We want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But even there are people are like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, nah, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, link, there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah subscribe to our newsletter as well and share share our videos because you know we do get demonetized that's an obvious on every one of our videos so f that but we don't care about that anymore <laughs> but we also get deprioritized and that's even more damaging to us deprioritize what does that mean that means we're not we don't show up on the suggested you know videos on the right and all that you know on the on people's home pages and that's how channels grow Unfortunately, we can't grow, so we need you guys to share our videos.